Hi. Uh, this is Ron Weber. I am your son or daughter's um, photography, electronics, or video production teacher. I just wanted to sort of explain what's going on with, uh, quote, phase three of our distance learning um, activities. Uh, next week, um, the procedure for doing distance learning is going to um, change uh, slightly, and I just wanted to give you an update. Essentially, what's going to happen is that there's a need for more in the FaceTime with, with the kids, and so what we've intended what we're going to be doing is that we're going to provide uh, more availability for the kids uh, to be able to touch base with uh, me and actually um, I want to set it up so that if you as a parent want to email me and meet um, online to talk about the progress of your uh, your child that's great too okay um, but we'll get to that in a minute there's going to be a couple things that are going to be changing the way the kids are graded is going to be changed in that in infinite campus instead of numeric grades there's going to be um, three letters that can be in uh, the grades for each activity that um, the kids did. For example, in photo, if I gave them an activity um, to complete, which I've given them a couple of different activities at this point, um, if they did um, the activity and did it successfully, I'm going to give them a letter T for pass. If they did it partially and didn't do it uh, totally, I'm also going to give it to give them an I for incomplete. And then uh, if they didn't do the activity, I'm going to give them an M for missing. Now the advantage of this is that you're going to be able to go into the portal and see um, what your kids have been completing. Um, that's a big black hole that a lot of parents are concerned about. They have a hard time catching up with what the kid, what your students, what your children are actually doing. And so um, this will help facilitate that. Okay. Now, in respect to, uh, and that will be consistent for the rest of the year. Now, at this point, um, I'm going, going to be setting up uh, three times a week that um, the students can touch base or check in uh, with me during uh, for a face-to-face -face meeting. The URL or the website address that um, is connected to the meeting uh, I've given to the kids, but I also will include it in this email so that if in fact you want to, as a parent, want to spend a couple of time, a couple of minutes with me, um, just email me and tell me when you want to do it and uh, click on the link for meeting and we'll meet and talk a little bit about what's going on. So that's entirely up to you. Um, the above and beyond that, the way this is going to work is that I will be available, um, for face to face work with the kids, um, Monday at 11 o'clock, Wednesday at 11 o'clock and Friday at 11 o'clock. That's going to be set for the rest of the school year okay 
And so three times a week, if they want to speak to me or get uh, questions about, um, you know, the activities that I give them, or if in fact they, um, if there's a, if there's a juncture that I'm going to give a presentation on a specific topic, um, probably Friday at 11 o'clock is when I will use that time to do that. And that would apply to all the different courses that I teach. Um, so basically that's how it's going to go. I know this is difficult times. Um, being a parent is probably one of the most difficult things I've ever done. Um, so, you know, this is a tough time for everybody. And at this point, we want to try to, um, I want to try to give support, uh, face to face support with the kids, um, emotionally as well as academically. And that's the whole focus of this um new phase emotionally and academically supporting the kids if you have any questions you can always email me uh, if you wish to email me and set up a time that we can talk face to face online great just give me a little bit of uh, time to uh, you know get it together to uh, to meet with you okay so any questions please email i hope all of you are healthy and happy uh and i will talk to everyone very soon